Today's lecture is about uh, eco houses and uh, this will be uh, looking at uh, all the different aspects and uh, eco houses is a very wide field so you find a lot uh, when you are researching and some of that is not really very much eco at all. Uh, but we want to explore this a little bit and uh, so let's see. Uh, we should look at the whole life cycle, what is uh, something that should be normal but very rarely this is actually addressed in a proper way. So we will see where can the whole life cycle be well arranged in a way that uh, there is low impact, that it's uh, well a house that is integrating into nature rather than disrupting and creating uh, waste dumps that are toxic forever. And uh, so um, this means that we start looking at the site, proper site does make a, a difference uh, than design, construction. The main part is of course uh, or should be operation of a house because we want houses with a very long uh, um, useful time. Uh, otherwise it's not ecologic if you make a lot of effort for building a house uh, then it doesn't make sense if it's teared down after 20 or 30 years already. And if you move through the cities today you see a lot of demolition of houses that were built 30, 40 years back with a big environmental impact with huge amounts of energy materials used now tiered down and uh, well new material used after only a few decades. This is ridiculous so this is behavior that is crazy and uh, it's also unnecessary. It's also reflecting a, a lack of regulation in that field because these concrete structures they, they could live for hundreds of years so it should be forbidden to tear them down otherwise only if it can be proven that it uh, is necessary for various reasons and necessary can also mean to remove something very ugly so I would accept that. 